This is getting out of hand, dog. I'm just like, why? Just why? Why? What? I, I never understand. I never understood people in general. Just people. Just people. You know what I'm saying? Not even America. Just people. I don't understand people. You go to school to get an education, right? Granted, you probably don't learn half of the stuff. You're not going to remember half of the stuff that you learn in school regardless. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't remember a single thing I learned in school. I, I kid you not. Like, I stopped listening to math when they start adding A and Bs. And why are you, effing, why are you adding alphabets to, to numbers? Like, that don't even make sense. But my whole point is you go to school to try to learn. You know what I'm saying? To try to just memorize things that you're never going to really use. But instead, people go to school to kill others. I'm curious on how did this whole situation occur. Three students killed. And I believe it was eight students injured. So three students killed, eight students injured. And I did a little research before I seen this because it was like, this video is blowing up. It's going around the whole entire internet. So I'm just like, okay, I'm going to do a reaction and get my take on it. But this is the second school shooting I've done seen this year. The first one was in Texas. Now we got one in Michigan. I'm not understanding. I'm not understanding. Like, these kids don't need guns. This is why This is why the legal age for guns should be even higher. But it don't matter because kids go get guns regardless because they, they got dumb legal people who give them the guns. Anyways, look, we're going to go ahead and get into this video, man. Uh, first off, I just want to say my condolences go out to the uh, parents who lost their child or even the parents whose child has been injured. Uh, you know, my, my condolences go out to y'all because I know, I don't know how it feels to lose a child. I don't know how it feels for a child to even get shot, your own child to get shot. I don't know how that feels. But that girl over there on that, on that wall, which y'all can't see, I don't know why I pointed over there. She was my age when she passed away, and I know her, and I seen how her mother broke down. So I could, I just know how a mother is about their child. But anyways, uh, yeah, we're gonna get to this video, man. Let's get it. Let's go. Come on. It's happened yet again in America. The parents of three teenagers learned today their children will not be coming home from school. The parents of seven others finding out their kids are in hospitals with bullet wounds. Yet another school shooting. The 58th shooting on school grounds this year, according to Gun Safety Advocacy Group. 58, 58 school shootings, bro. 58 school shootings, dog? What parent want to know that their child ain't going to be coming home today? What parent want to think like that? Every town. This time, it happened in Oxford, Michigan, population 3,500 outside Detroit. Cops there say a 15-year-old student brought a semi-automatic handgun to school and opened fire. They say he shot off 15 to 20 bullets, Why? killed three students, shot eight other people, including a teacher. The undersheriff in Oakland County there says deputies took the suspect into custody within about five minutes of the final shots. No struggle at all. He says the student is not cooperating. Michigan's governor, Gretchen Whitmer, calling the shooting an unimaginable tragedy. I think we need to. Why? Just why? What was your point? I'm curious. What was your point of bringing a gun to school? You wasn't even, was anybody even attended Target? Or was you just trying to like just shoot because? Like, what was your point? What was your point, my guy? I'm just trying to figure out and try to get into your mind and think. I can't even think like you. Because I don't think dummy. You you went into a school, whole bunch of children, and shot up, shot three people, killed three people, shot a teacher. This is... This is sad, bro. I'm like, I'm just done. I don't understand why he did it. Why he or she, whatever. I don't understand why they did it. Focus on the community, the families, supporting all the first responders, including the incredible people at our hospitals that are working so hard to save the lives of, of those who are, are fighting for their lives right now. I think this is every parent's worst nightmare. Police say the student acted alone and that so far they have no idea what his motive was. 
Local coverage now from NBC affiliate WEYI and their reporting, reporter Stephanie Parkinson live in Oxford Township. Stephanie, a fast police response, I understand. Oh, there have been multiple agencies out here today from the FBI to the local police departments. And as you mentioned, the Oakland County Sheriff's, where I am, is in Oakland County. And um, right now, tonight, a lot of questions for this community over were there warning signs about this potentially happening? We've spoken to a student already who said that he didn't go to school today simply because he was concerned that something could happen. As far as right now, though, the undersheriff with Oakland County is... Now, now, I know now... I know that a lot of people will give warnings about a school shooting. The reason I know that is because my school got, when I was in high school, my school got plenty of warnings. It was a lot of threats against my school. Like, I mean, like, people did not like my school for some odd reason. They just want to shoot that place up so bad. Don't get me wrong. At one point, I did too. I'm not going to lie. But would I ever do that? No. No, because I'm not dumb. I'm not dumb. But that's back when I had anger on my heart. But now I don't. But I'm just saying I, I'm not dumb. They don't know this man's motive. What was your point? You went into a school for what? For what? <sighs> Telling us that they can't talk about that. They're investigating everything, and they'll give us more information as they can get it. We're expecting one. He's 15, bro. He's 15. 15. For those updates in a couple of hours. But when this happened earlier around 1 p.m., they said that everything was done correctly in the school, as it should be done in a situation like this. There were more than 100 calls to 911. Within five minutes of the original call, that suspect was taken into custody, a 15-year-old student at Oxford High School. So they say they did everything right. Now, that doesn't change the fact that obviously three students were killed today, all teenagers, high schoolers at Oxford High School here in Michigan. Now, that student... Bro, you know the so messed up part about life. It's not even it's not even the messed up part about life, but it's the messed up part. It is. It's the messed up part about life. You wake up in the morning having a good day, right? You wake up and you're not knowing what today can bring. You don't you don't know what can happen today. But you wake up today and not knowing that today will be the last day. The last day that you will ever see your family. That's the saddest thing that you could possibly think of, bro. Who I'm getting emotional. Because it, it's like, I know, I I know the feeling. I don't know the feeling, but I know the feeling of losing somebody to gun violence. The person that's on my wall right here and the person that's on my wall right there. You wake up and you're not knowing that today will be your last day. These kids was going to school with the attitude of, ah, I don't want to be here. Probably, they they probably did have that. I don't want to be here today. So they just, I just like who really want to be at school? Nobody wants to be at school. Just sit there. I mean, we ain't doing no. We doing the same thing. You all you, all teacher go do is uh, teach the same lesson that you learned back in back in the grade under. So if you so if you're a sophomore, you'll learn just something you go learn the same thing from freshman year just added a little bit more stuff to it that's all school is and that's probably what they was thinking like dang i don't feel like being here with the wood and not knowing that today is gonna be the last day they ever see that school again they ever see this snow again why is it snowing in michigan i don't know but today will be the last day they ever see this and nobody wants to think like that and that's just the messed up part about life in general man the 15-year-old suspect is not talking with investigators. We're told the parents also don't want that student to talk with investigators and that the parents are hiring an attorney. That's what their next step. <laughs> Bro. Your, your son shot up a school. He shot three people. He, he killed three people. In total, he shot about 11 people. And you telling me you don't want your son to talk to the... Oh, he's not getting away with this. He's not getting away with this. I don't care. I know that parents, I know y'all love y'all kids so much. But when your child do something like this to hurt other students, remind you, those other students have parents too. How you think those parents feel right now? Just how? <sighs>
office. So right now, that's the situation, and they're hoping that that will change, though, in the coming hours, the coming days. So, of course, we'll have to continue to follow that. Live in Oxford Township, Stephanie Parkinson. Back to you. Stephanie, thank you. This is this is getting out of hand, bro. This is really getting out of hand. Honestly, my camera about to die, so I got to end this video. But I want to say a couple things right now, and I'm going to try to make it fast as possible. Dog, stop the... St st why are you... St stop going to schools, killing people. You don't want your child to talk to detectives after what he just did. He just committed a murder. He's not... No, he's not getting away with this. Ain't no self-defense in... T ain't no self-defense in this. You know what I'm saying? Them kids probably... Them kids didn't do nothing to this man. Because he was just probably shooting. Because why would you... Why would you... And you shot... In total, 11 people killed three out of the 11. Oh, Lord. I pr I just pray for this world. This world is so wicked and it's ridiculous. It's honestly ridiculous. Don't parents got to live without seeing their child, bro? What parent want to bury their child at 15? At 15. Buddy didn't even get to 21. They didn't even get to 18. See how it feels to at least date somebody that's 25. You know what I'm saying? They didn't even get to 21 to see how it feels today. Somebody that's 55, you heard me. They didn't even get to them ages. They didn't even get to the point where your ID say you're 18, so you can, you know, you can't do too much at 18, so I don't know. But still, they didn't get to that age yet. I'm off this video, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. Hit that like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. It's been your boy, the pan. God bless, stay blessed, man. Save this world, save America, save it all, bro. For real talk. I love y'all. God bless, stay blessed. Peace.